Although the nation's attention will be focused on the West Coast today for Michael Jackson's memorial service, in D.C., just outside of the White House, we had our own memorial service, a movement to try to get people to pray for the Jackson family. My name is Rocky, R-O-C-K-Y, Twyman, T-W-Y-M-A-N, and I'm the founder of the tribute to Michael Jackson. And we're just out here today to establish the fact that he really was a national hero in spite of all of the negative uh, stories that have gone out about him. And we just want the whole world to be able to sign our book of condolences because this family is really hurting. I to sign our book for Michael Jackson. Where are you from? I'm from Venezuela. Really? Good. Yeah. Oh, como estas? And that's what this is all about today. And we're willing to pray with anybody that is out here today that that wants to pray for the family. So why are you? Uh, why did you decide to host this event outside the White House? Because we feel as though he is a national hero in in his own way. Because when he was alive, you know, he went to congressmen and presidents and queens and everything, pushing the cause of children, indigent children, and at-risk children, and those that were downtrodden. And we're very upset about the congressman from California that's making all of these inflammatory statements right now at this time. You're talking about Peter King? Yes. And yet for the last, I don't know how long now, this lowlife, Michael Jackson, his name, his face, his picture, is all over the newspapers, television, radio. So all we hear about is Michael Jackson. And let's knock out the psychobabble. This guy was a pervert, he was a child molester, uh, he was a pedophile. Because this, uh, this, this family really needs compassion right now. They don't need to be, uh, you know, lambasted with all these uh, negative comments. We just wish that this congressman would be quiet right now. Give this family a break. They don't need this at this time. So we pray that Congressman King will just really shut up for right now. We believe in forgiveness. We believe Governor Brown, uh, Sanford should be forgiven. Jesse Jackson should be forgiven. You know, Barack Obama for, uh, you know, being so addicted to these cigarettes because we think that's extremely dangerous uh, for the country, for him to continue to smoke. We think that's really bad. And, and regarding your effort today, is there anything you would like to see? From the White House, any sort of effort or uh, or reaction from them? Well, we'd like for them to maybe um, maybe uh, promote, have a Michael Jackson event at the White House. You know, uh, at some point. Turns out that in the end, all of this guy's efforts may just have paid off.